Manny Cap, Jed here from Retail Industries Gracefully. I've been asked by uh, one of my subscribers called Colin uh, to do a video on the prices of rentals in uh, Bohin. Now they vary a lot, you can go from the very cheap up to 60, 70,000 baht a month. Uh, but I'm going to do two videos, um, starting with the cheapest one, and I'll feature 10 properties of the cheaper properties and then uh, in the next few days I'll do 10 properties in the more expensive areas. So I'll start with uh, today, uh, ranging from the cheapest I could find, which is 6,000, which is uh, obviously 6,000 baht a month is not going to be uh, a fantastic place to live, but uh, hey, everyone has a different budget. Not everyone can afford to live in 50,000 baht a month houses overlooking the beach. So the first video will be from between 6,000 and 19,000 baht a month and the second video will be from 20,000 baht upwards. But before I start my video, uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. It will help me a lot and it won't cost you anything. Also push the thumbs up button and if you know anyone who might like my channel, please pass on the link uh, to your friend or family member. Also, I'll give you some tips in general uh, on renting property here in Thailand uh, that might help you if you're uh, thinking of coming here to live for a, a few months or a few years or to retire here. Okay, let's get into it. So let's start with the cheapest house that I could find. Uh, this house is on the popular Soy 102, which is only uh, short distance from the town centre and Blueport and Market Village so it's quite central. It has two bedrooms and two bathrooms. As you can see it doesn't look that good but hey the rent's only 6,000 baht a month so if you're on a really strict budget maybe this place would be the one for you. So this is the kitchen uh, it looks quite small uh, it's got a little uh, dining table there and a small fridge a microwave, uh, not much cooking equipment, uh, but what can you expect for the price? Property has uh, two bedrooms, uh, it's got a, looks like a little bit of a, a wardrobe and a dressing table in there. Um, it also has two bathrooms, it has a small lounge room uh, with a desk for a computer desk and uh, there's also a small television so it's very compact uh, but for 6,000 baht a month it's very affordable one thing you need to keep in mind uh, when you're uh, renting a property here in Thailand is uh, the electricity charges the government electric charge 5 baht um, a unit but you'll find that some places will add money on they get the bill and then they up the bill to 8 or 9 or 10 baht um, a unit which can nearly double your electricity bill so you need to take that into account you need to ask the realtor or the house owner what charge they're charging for the rate of electricity if this is government charge five baht that's great because it's very cheap five baht a, a unit is very cheap but uh, if they're going to say oh we charge 10 baht then your electricity bill is going to double um, it's still not very expensive but it's twice as much as really you need to pay i i won't rent somewhere that um, charges more than the government rate i did it once um, and i was charged around about 1200 baht a month for my electric uh, the next place I moved into it was about three to four hundred baht a month for my electric because it was at the five baht government rate charge so that brings us to my second house on the list uh, this house is the second cheapest I could find at 8,000 baht a month It's listed as a one bedroom, one bathroom home. 
Uh, but uh, there's photos of two bedrooms, so I think maybe they've made a mistake. The house doesn't look much, uh, but strangely enough, it has a beautiful swimming pool. There's a small kitchen, which unfortunately uh, from the photos doesn't show very much. Likewise with the lounge, uh, it looks quite small uh, with a small TV. But as an added bonus, there's a washing machine and uh, looks like there's a nice outside deck uh, to relax on. Uh, looks like quite cool and shady as well. Relief from the midday sun. This house is situated quite a way out of town on Soy 112. When you uh, go and look for a house to rent here in Thailand, um, it's a good idea to check everything out in the daytime and the nighttime. Uh, I once rented a, a place in Krabi and uh, it looked lovely. I went there in the daytime, checked it out, decided, yeah, I'll stay there for a month. Um, moved in, and then that night um, there was um, blaring music coming from a bar just down the road uh, that went on till about two in the morning. Uh, so it's a good idea to check out uh, the night time as well as the day time. Don't just look at the house in the day and think, oh, this is nice. Uh, maybe go back there on the evening, just check the area, make sure it's safe, uh, make sure it's not too loud. No barking dogs, uh, which is always a problem in uh, Thailand as well. The third property on my list is only 9,000 baht a month. Uh, it has two bedrooms and one bathroom and it's in town uh, close to Soy 102. The house has a combined lounge kitchen, like a small TV there, nothing flash but for 9,000 it's quite nice. size bedrooms, uh, one with a single, one with a double bed, and then the uh, kitchen looks uh, quite good. It only has one burner, but you can always buy them from uh, Tesco Lotus, and there's a microwave, and a small dining table. The house is uh, situated uh, on Soy 102, which is very central, close to all the shopping centres, and not far from the beach. When you rent in Thailand, uh, the leases are quite often only in Thai, only written in Thai. So um, you might want to get someone to translate it to make sure that uh, what you think you're signing for is uh, correct. Um, you don't want to move in and then find that uh, you've signed something that you didn't understand and uh, it's going to cost you money down the track. If you're dealing with a real estate agent, uh, most of the real estate agents in uh, touristy towns or big cities uh, speak English, so you can ask them to explain it to you also. Uh, but if you're renting directly from a landlord, you might find that most Thai landlords only speak Thai, and you might want to take a Thai person with you to uh, translate. The fourth. Uh place on my list is uh, also a two bedroom, two bathroom house. Uh, it's also on Soy 102, a lot of places on Soy 102 for rent, uh, obviously close to Blueport. And the rent for this place is only 11,000 baht a month. The house has a nice outdoor patio area with a little dining table and chairs. It's also got a security gate. The kitchen area looks quite big with a dining table, huge fridge and uh, what looks like a, a two burner uh, stove. Most of these places also come fully equipped with crockery, knives and forks, cooking equipment, and even bedding and towels. So you really just have to unpack your toothbrush in some of these places. The lounge room looks quite spacious and modern. Both bedrooms are nicely equipped with uh, wardrobes, dressing table, and uh, each bedroom has a large double bed. And with it being on uh, Soy 102, it's quite central to everything and not far from the beach and all your shopping centres in the centre of Hohin. 
Most people nowadays want to have uh, internet connection to their homes and uh, you'll find that the majority of places for rent do have Wi-Fi. Uh, not all, but I'd say out of the places that I've rented in the five years I've been here, I would say 80% of the places have had uh, Wi-Fi included in the rental price. So you need to double check that, that it comes with Wi-Fi. Uh, if not, there's plenty of um, providers. You just go to your local phone shop and uh, you'll be able to uh, get Wi-Fi connected at the house. This property at 11,500 baht a month looks like a bargain. It's got three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Some of the homes uh, listed are advertised as unfurnished, though photos uh, in all of them are, sh are showing uh, furnished properties. So maybe you pay a little extra if you want them furnished or maybe it's just a mistake uh, which often happens uh, when typing in English in uh, Thailand. It's got a nice little garden and outdoor patio area. There's, uh, three bedrooms in this house and two bathrooms which is quite big I think the place is about 74 square meters which is uh, a fairly, fairly large house uh, here in Thailand a lot of the houses in Thailand are, are, are quite uh, small compared to your western houses there's a combined lounge kitchen like there's a small four-seater dining room table, microwave, uh, not a lot of cooking equipment and it's only a small fridge. It's quite a, a bright house, lots of sunshine coming through the windows, nice little patio out there. The home is situated on Soi Mon Mai, which is about 15 minutes drive from Ho Hen, so it's quite a way out of town. But a lot of people like that uh, if they like the uh, countryside. I'm not a big watcher of TV, but if you like to relax and watch television and you might want to watch some of the programmes from your own country, then you might want to subscribe to uh, a television channel rather than just watch the Thai TV channels. Thai TV is fine if you speak Thai. But if you don't, you'll find, uh, um, you know, after a while, you'll probably won't even switch the set on. So that might be an idea if you're a bit of a TV addict to uh, subscribe to one of the uh, if you're from the UK, one of the UK systems, or if you're from the USA, from so you can watch your own sports and your own uh, uh, soap operas or whatever you like to watch on TV. This next property is situated in Khao Tau. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom house, uh, about five minutes from Blueport. Rent for this one is 13,000 baht a month and it's very large at 105 square meters. The house is surrounded by tropical gardens and has a nice patio area and it's fully fenced. The house is fully furnished with a lounge combined dining kitchen. The kitchen comes with a proper European stove which is quite unusual. The home has uh, two bedrooms, two bathrooms and it's in a complex so it comes with a communal swimming pool. It's located in the Khao Tau area of uh, Ho Hin which is uh, quite a way from uh, Hua Hin Centre but it's got a lovely beach of its own and it sits on a lake so it's a very nice uh, area. Most landlords will require a month's security deposit which will be returned to you at the end of your lease as long as there's no damage done to the house or condo. The lease is uh, generally three, six, nine or twelve months. Uh, you can negotiate that yourself. All the places that I've rented here I've uh, never had to give a month's notice. Um, it's part of the lease has always just said, um, not, no date has been specified, it just says you've got to uh, tell them when you want to leave. So you don't have to give them a month's notice, which is different in uh, USA, Australia, UK, you've got to give a month's notice uh, to the, the landlord. 
Uh, I'm not saying that's true of all places. I'm saying I've been here five years and each lease that I've ever signed, they haven't requested that I give them a month's notice. I can tell them the week before and say, oh, that's it. I won't be renewing uh, the lease at the end of this term. This house here looks very nice. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom house. It's on soy 102 also. Uh, rent is 13,000 baht per month. And it's very large, it's on uh, 105 square meters. Fairly large lounge with a four seater dining table, TV cabinet, TV, coffee table. It's a fairly bright and airy room. The bedrooms uh, look quite large, they come with wardrobes and uh, vanity. Uh, one of them is an ensuite. Bathrooms are quite big, uh, shower and both have showers and toilets, so good for a family. Or if you have friends uh, coming to visit, they have their own bathroom. Kitchen looks quite basic, there's only one burner, but as I said before, you can uh, get a um, from Tesco Lords for not very much money. Fridge freezer looks quite big, and there's an outdoor patio area. As many houses seem to be, it's situated on soil 102, so it's very central to the shopping and the beaches. Here in Thailand at the moment, property prices are very cheap. Um, it's a buyer's market. And uh, if you are going to um, rent somewhere here, it's okay to negotiate. Um, what I would say is that yes, if it's a business that's renting it or if it's a, a, a rich uh, Thai person, okay, knock them down as much as you can. Um, they can afford it. Uh, but if it's just a, a, a Thai person who is trying not to have his house repossessed and he's renting it out and he's struggling, uh, well, maybe uh, don't bother bargaining. Um, but there are some, I mean, they're cheap enough as they are. A lot of people are keeping the prices high, to be quite honest, and they're, they're sitting empty. Uh, but the ones who are uh, um, desperate are dropping the rents just to try and get some money in um, and not have their houses taken from them. This looks like a lovely, large, well-kept home with uh, some nice grounds and some nice gardens. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom house on uh, Soy 112 and the monthly rent is 15,000 baht a month, which is uh, very reasonable for a house this size. The house has got some nice little outdoor patio areas uh, for sitting and uh, it's also got uh, car parking facilities. Not a garage, but at least it's under cover. The lounge is massive, very spacious, uh, with a TV and a lounge suite. The kitchen looks very nice, got a large fridge, freezer, uh, two gas hob, microwave, rice cooker, obviously all the things you'll need. There's two bathrooms uh, in the property. One will probably be en suite. And there's uh, two fairly large bedrooms by the look of it. It's uh, quite nicely furnished, even one has a television in the bedroom. It's situated on uh, Soy 112, which is very central to uh, the whole of Ohin. There's no uh, dedicated bus service here in uh, Hua Hin. Most people get around uh, with their own vehicles, a car or motorbike, or uh, they get a song tow, which is like a, a, a people carrying truck, um, or they get motorbike taxi, or they get a normal taxi. Uh, so if you're thinking of renting a little bit out of town, uh, song tows normally only go up and down the main drag, the main road, they don't sort of go off the beaten track. Um, but if you're thinking of renting a little bit out of town, 
Keep in mind that uh, you might have to use your own transport to get to and from uh, Hua Hin. We're starting to go a little bit more upmarket now uh, with this lovely two bedroom, two bathroom house. Uh, it looks very classy. Um, this is uh, 18,000 baht a month. The whole house is uh, beautifully furnished with uh, modern furniture and a six seater dining table. Um, nice leather lounge suite, beautiful sound system and uh, television. The kitchen is fully equipped with everything you'd probably need with blenders and toasters and rice cookers. Um, it doesn't have an oven but it does have two burner hob. There's two bedrooms, uh, one of them with an ensuite. Uh, they'll both come with uh, their bedding by the look of things and uh, all equipped. Bathrooms look very modern and very nice. Um, I think this house is fairly new by the look of the design of it. It's uh, a very, very beautiful house. The outside of the house has lovely gardens and patio sitting areas. Nice manicured lawns. And its location is the centre of Hua Hin. If you're considering renting a house, um, it's a good idea to uh, consider looking at a villa within a complex. And the reason I say this is because with villas, um, they're the same as houses, they're the same size, but they're within a complex, so they get 24-hour security guards. Um, they normally come with a, a community swimming pool or two or three swimming pools even. Uh, a lot of them have a gymnasium that you can use. And also the grounds and the gardens are kept by the management. They're not, you don't have to worry about doing the gardens and uh, maintaining uh, around the garden areas or if you rent a house with a pool um, you don't have to maintain that pool that's already included in your rent if you uh, rent within a complex so yeah it's all, always good a, a good idea to do that I prefer that myself because I go away a lot and um, it means that when I go away that the house is 24 hours secure um, I don't have to worry that maybe while I'm away someone's going to damage something or break in. Not that that happens very much here in Thailand, that doesn't scare me very much at all compared to living in other countries I've lived in. This is the uh, last house uh, in the video today and it's probably the best. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom house and it's 19,000 baht per month. As you can see it comes with a lovely swimming pool as I've just said about gated communities, this house is in a gated community and it's situated near the Stanford University and the airport in North uh, Hua Hin. You can see this is a high quality home, uh, it's got beautiful fixtures and fittings, a beautiful dining room table, lounge suites, um, this is really top class. The kitchen has full European kitchen with uh, oven and hob, nice fridge, microwave. I would imagine the, the cupboards are packed with all the utensils you would need. The house has uh, three massive bedrooms um, which come with all the bedding, one's en suite. Very nice fixtures and furnishings. Uh, it is high quality. It comes with uh, two bathrooms, same thing, high quality, nice fixtures and fittings. And very large. If you prefer to be close to the centre of Hua Hin, this area probably isn't for you. It's in the northern part of Hua Hin. About a 10-15 minute drive to Hua Hin Beach from uh, the airport area. Sometimes uh, 
realtors or landlords will offer you discount of maybe 10% of your rent if you uh, pay for the whole of the lease. So it could be a 12 month lease and they will ask you to pay the whole 12 months and if you did they will give you a discount. You don't have to, you can go by the month but if you want to save 10% um, you can do that or you can ask, ask them uh, if you pay a year up front, will they give you a discount? Um, I personally don't recommend that and the reason is because circumstances change. Uh, you know, what you sign up today, um, you know, something could happen, you have to leave for some reason, you've paid a year's rent. Uh, whereas if you, say, go by the three months or the six months rent, um, three months later, if your circumstances change, you can up sticks and go. Um, I always try and get a three month lease with an option of another three. Main, that's me because I'm, I, I, I'm doing YouTube and I like to travel so I don't want to tie myself down for too long. Everyone's different, uh, you might just think oh no this place is for me, I'll definitely stay here and if you're happy with that ask them and if you, well not just if you're happy with that, if you've got 12 months rent in the bank uh, you can save yourself 10% by uh, asking them uh, that if you pay for the 12 months in advance, we'll make you a discount. If you're thinking of retiring or living in Thailand, please take a look at my book, The Retire in Thailand Handbook, the first six months. It's crammed full of information to help you tiptoe over the logistics of making Thailand your home as uncomplicated and straightforward as possible. So, thanks very much for watching. And until next time, stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you in the next video.